thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of Numbers, Numbers chapter 8. When I came to verse 19, you read there how God protected the Israelites from certain plagues in that day. And I was thinking of God's protection over our lives. In Joshua chapter 4, you read of how the Israelites would put 12 stones in the Jordan River as a reminder of God's protection and guidance and deliverance for them. I often call those monuments of God's grace. Sometimes I look back at my life and I look back at monuments of God's grace in my life. I don't like to talk too much about the past, but when I think of the past and how God, God delivered me from horrible institution I was locked up in when I was a teenager, having a gun at my head in the street, knives at me because of the lifestyle I lived, even having an overdose and and in the 1980s, almost coming down with the AIDS virus. And for those old enough to remember the AIDS virus in the 80s, that was kind of like the coronavirus now. And as I look back at all the car accidents I had, the reckless life, I look back at the monuments of God's grace and how he has protected me. When I look in the Bible, I think of David. David in Psalm, in 2 Samuel chapter 22, verses 2 to 9, speaks about how God had delivered him and protected him from so many dangers and trials and tribulations in his life. Here's a man who had to fight a 13-foot giant named Goliath. He had a king that was looking to kill him. And because of his own rendezvous with Bathsheba in 2 Samuel 11, he had a very dysfunctional family, had to deal with so much in his life, but yet he spoke about how God protected him. Paul, in the New Testament, you read in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 23 to 29 of all the perils and all the trials and tribulations that he had to go through but yet at the end of his life in second timothy chapter 4 verse 18 paul spoke about how god had protected him took care of him and was ready to bring him home to heaven my friends we need to look at the protection of god's grace in our lives in the times past he is the same yesterday today and forever this is why Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 tells us that we are not to fear what God has done for us in the past. He's going to always protect us. Yes, we might have to go through trials and tribulations, some trials that are very painful in life. But there's nothing that no one can snatch us from God as Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, told us in John chapter 10 verse 28. Nothing, no one, no place can snatch us from God's love that we have through Jesus Christ. God's protection is sweet, my brothers and sisters, and we need to reflect on it often. As I said, we need to remember the monuments of God's grace in times past. Even now, as I look at my life and dealing with this meniscus tear in my knee, you know, in the flesh you can get like, ah, oh, I can't go to work, get discouraged, depressed, self-pity, anxiety. Is God get, you know, am I gonna be able to pay my bills? Will I be able to retire? You know, as you get a little, a little older as I am, you know, you get these things in your mind about uh, your financial security. Our tendency is to put our trust in the 401k that we have and, and all these other things, you know, our, our bank investments. However, Psalm 37 verse 25 tells us that God will not forsake the righteous to beg bread. God will take care of us, my brothers and sisters. Just as a loving parent takes care of their children, how much more our Heavenly Father will take care of us? It is when we don't believe, when we doubt. You remember the man in Mark chapter 9 who had a child that was demonic, came to Jesus and said, Please, Master, help me. And Jesus said, Do you believe that I can heal your son? And this man said in Mark chapter 9, verse 24, I believe, but help my unbelief. That's us by nature. We do believe in God. We believe in His promises, but our flesh is weak. And we go into unbelief. <clears throat> we think we're going to fall into bankruptcy. We're going, to, we're going to get sick and God's going to forsake us. No, my brothers and sisters, don't believe those lies. God will never leave you nor forsake you. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. As we read in Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 and verse 8. How many times in the past we could look back and see how God has been faithful and true to us. Just like that song says. Look back at the monuments of grace in your life and what God has done. And the God, what God has done in the past, he will do today, and he will do in the future for you, through Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my dear brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today. 
Remind us, O oh Lord God, of your promises, of your word. Help us to not go by our feelings, emotions, our flesh. Yea, the valley of the shadow of death may come to us. We will fear no evil, as we read in Psalms 23, verse 4, because you are our good shepherd. Remind us, O oh Lord God, as just as a shepherd takes care of the sheep, you will take care of us. In Jesus' name I pray. Take care, my brothers and sisters. Walk in the Holy Spirit and not in the flesh.